Hey guys, welcome back to Gamers Station and in this episode I'm going to be talking about a game that's another cross-platform one which is called Goddess. Now this is from Peter Molyneux out from the company 22 Cans and Peter Molyneux has a reputation for not really fulfilling his promises but this one seems pretty interesting and it's another game that's still in development but you can buy into the game right now and it's not too expensive and it's uh, this goddess game is sort of a reincarnation of the god game genre which is what they're calling it now you might remember certain god games from before like black and white and populous and things like that and if you're into those sorts of games you're probably going to be into this one but this one he's trying to push technology to another level so let's have a look and see if the game in its current state is worth your time and money So what's the gameplay like in its current state? Well, every few months they sort of overhaul the game to be something completely different. But generally, what you're looking at is the, the concept of starting with two people and leading them to a promised land. And that's where you use your god powers to sort of control the landscape to do this uh, stretching and scaling of the landscape. And you sort of destroy rocks, clear trees or grow them back and stuff like that so that your people can start developing their own civilization. Now, the game does have have some uh, slightly mobile aspects to it so for example you collect uh, things like stickers and cards which feels a bit kiddish but it's not too bad and uh, for a full PC experience it does feel like it's starting to become a proper game now I haven't mentioned it before because the game has actually been uh, playable for quite some time but it's recently reached a state where they're really getting to a point where it feels like a game now you sort of grow your civilization and control your people and you can even sacrifice your people to earn gems and you use those gems to sort of uh, increase your powers and you can go off onto expeditions which is sort of a mini game and stuff like that. Now an interesting concept of the game is that it's not meant to be played in long stretches and this is sort of a dichotomy of combining PC and mobile experiences. Now the PC version is one you pay for whereas the mobile version is free but there's in-app purchases. So to sort of accommodate both of them, they seem to be struggling on how to provide a full PC experience for the more hardcore gamers and also a more casual experience for the more casual mobile gamers which don't really spend hours and hours and hours on their device playing a specific game. So generally the game is looking good and you should keep an eye on it but whether you should buy into it is a little wavy right now. You should probably wait a little longer while the game develops and see if it's really something you're looking for. Now, should you get the game and what is the overall opinion of Goddess? Well, uh, Peter Molino with his reputation, you should always be wary, but 22 Cans is a new company and watching the development of the game on YouTube is actually already very interesting. Uh, but looking at the gameplay, uh, the end game is actually quite far away as you develop your civilization, trying to populate the land, you encounter these opponents, these, this other tribe called the Astari, and you have to sort of convert them to your people and then in the end you build an arc and then the arc will sort of let you explore even uh, greater lands and stuff like that. So the big concept of the game is to care for and nurture for this civilization, these people that you control, and you're supposed to empathize with them or maybe torment them, sort of, it's really up to you, bordering moralities and all of that stuff. So it's very, very interesting, but whether it's gonna be executed in its final state as a good way to do it, it's uh, still yet to be seen. So overall, it's a great concept, but execution, uh, well, time will tell. All right, that's it from me for this episode and hopefully you tune in next week when I have an even bigger game that's coming out. So I'll see you in the next episode.
Alas, we're at the end of another episode of Gadget Nation. And once again, I would like to give a big shout out to Cool Cats here in Tumbleton for hosting us. It's been a real pleasure to be here. So come check it out for yourself. Hope you've enjoyed the show as well. Anything you'd like to see on it, don't forget Facebook, Twitter, etc. Look up Gadget Nation. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. My name is Adam Carruthers, signing out for this week. See you next week.